Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jermaine. If you're new here um, and if you're returning, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today is gonna be a video about travel must-haves um, in 2022. Some of this stuff is because I'm a flight attendant, so I just always have it on me, but I just thought it would be a really good idea just to do like a little mini checklist for you guys. So if you are interested, just keep All right, so I have it grouped. So if I'm looking down at the floor, you know why. I just wanna make sure I stay on track, cause girl, one thing about me, I could ramble. And if you watch my vlogs, which you should be doing, please go watch my vlogs. They come every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? We will start with toiletries, the toiletry section first. Travel flat iron. I got this from Target. It was on sale, I think, for like $15, $16. Um, it's not going to perfectly flat on your hair, I'll tell you that much. But if you need a little lift or you need to get them rolls back, this, perfect. It goes all the way up to 25. I don't know what heat setting that is, but then there's a turbo on and off button here. So I think it gets a little bit hotter after that. So travel flat iron, it's cute, it's small. The only thing, it did not come with a case. Um, but I usually use it and then wrap it up. And if I have to wrap it, you know, in some kind of cloth or a towel or something, I'll do that. So the second thing is these Steripods. Um, they pretty much keep your toothbrush uh, sanitized and clean. Um, it says to change them out every three months, I think, but I give it about two months because three months is pushing it. <laughs> um, you can actually clean these and keep them, you know, nice and dry. Um, so that's always a good I thing. I do want to show you my little mini toiletry kit. This is for my like two day bag or like one day bag, just in case anything happens. All of my aviation professionals know anything could happen in aviation, okay? So this is not my actual toiletry bag. Once again, if you watch my vlogs, you know Big Papa. <laughs> Toiletry bag is about this big. <laughs> so I did just want to show this real quick. It's so much easier, especially with people that do not work in aviation, if you keep all of your toiletries in one bag, whether it be a clear bag or a bag like this. Um, it's just so much easier when you go through TSA and they need to pull stuff out or whatever. Just keep everything in a bag. So I guess this would be an item, a toiletry actual bag. Keep an extra soap. And of course it's not in here. It's in my big toiletry bag. but. I keep an extra soap because you never know if you're gonna leave something. And I do, I try to do my checks when I leave my hotel room, but sometimes I'm just, it just doesn't work out that way. It's always good to keep, like, honestly, sometimes I'll even take the hotel soap that they have. So there's one that was ball main. I was like, ooh, this is gonna be my backup, period. So <laughs> um, I always keep that in a separate portion of my bag just because. I don't wanna use it if I don't have to. Now see, if I slip up or I forget to refill my little travel body soap thing, I always have that as a backup. So that's always Next. a good idea. A shower cap, which I have, I think it's over there. Always take a shower cap with you um, for my girls and guys that need to keep their hair dry. Um, I usually get the plastic ones from Target. They come like in a jumbo pack i don't know it's just easier for me to get like the clear plastic ones and they're just easy to wrap up into itself throw it in your toiletry bag in quality day sometimes the hotels will have shower caps for you if you just request one but it's always good to just keep one for yourself you never know travel bonnet so i have bonnets that i have for my house and then i have bonnets that i leave in my bag i don't try to carry the bonnets i learned that a long time ago that's how you lose bonnets that's how you're like what so I have about three bonnets, one for my small bag, one for my big suitcase, and then one for the house. You're not transferring bonnets and no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Next up is sunscreen, especially during the summer. I don't think I need to explain this. Sunscreen, girl, sunscreen. Um, next is a plastic bag for your shoes. Let me tell y'all something. Every single one of y'all that has traveled this summer, or traveled, it's not my bag. It's not my bag. But all I'm seeing is, please put your shoes in some kind of wrapping. Because you just walk around. <laughs> you walk around all day. 
and then you're going to proceed to put your shoes on top of your clothes for me that's not okay so i either use small trash bags that you can put like in the small trash can or amazon actually has shoe bags um i just thought it was a waste of money to buy more plastic when i can just use um trash bags that i already have under my sink so and i just reuse them until they get a, a hole in them and honestly even if they get a hole in them i'm just gonna wrap them up wrap your shoes and as far as shoes there's two different shoes that i feel like you should always travel with number one hotel slides okay i keep these in the back portion of my suitcase um i don't know when the what's in my bag video is going to go up i think that's actually later on in july but anyway i keep them in a separate pocket so girl what a separate pocket so they don't touch anything else they can be used for shower shoes they can be used to walk around the hotel in whatever I just like to um, have that on handy always because I do not like for my feet, bare feet, to be touching nobody nasty little fart. Mm. That's just me though. Also a pair of running shoes. Um, you never know when you gotta get the fuck on, honestly. You never know when you're gonna be exploring the city that you're in or whatever. Just always keep some kind of um, pair of tennis shoes, okay? Oh, so I guess we kind of started going into clothes and stuff like that, so I'll just go on. With that, extra socks and underwear. My mama always raised me, you always bring extra underwear. Doesn't matter if you're going on a day trip, does not matter. One thing about aviation, it's always subject to change, always. Like, especially these times, girl. My schedule is a mere suggestion, okay? So always extra underwear, extra socks, Next up is a sweater for the plane. If you are traveling by plane, bring a sweater because my airline, we are not doing blankets on a lot of routes. So, and it gets cold. And honestly, we would rather have the plane on the colder side than the hotter side because that's when people start to get really sick. Like it's hot, you know, we're going through turbulence, people get nauseous, like no. If anything, we would rather the plane cold. I don't. I would speak, I mean, I've asked a lot of people that I work with and we all kind of say the same thing. We would rather it be on the colder side than it to be hot because we don't do paperwork. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the miscellaneous stuff. This list is a little bit longer, so just bear with me. And if you have watched up until this point, thank you. Please don't forget to like, leave a comment. If you have anything or any ideas or anything that I've missed or you want to share, please leave it in the comment section below. I'm sorry, y'all. The fan is just but I can't turn it off, it's hot in here. Anyway, personal fan. I got this from Amazon, um, I love it. It is my bestie, honestly. Um, it has two speeds and it's charged by a USB cord. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. I don't like batteries, can't with the battery situation, okay? So I bought one that you can just plug in and charge with a USB. Like I said, it's two speeds. It doesn't have a mist or anything. And I got it um, in black just because that's my color. Okay, that is my favorite color. So personal fan. Next, I would definitely say bring a cord bag. It's just so much better. The more organized you are during your travel, the easier it's gonna be on yourself and all the people behind you during boarding when you stop and hold up boarding because you're looking for your headphones. <laughs> anyway. So always keep all of your, you know, extra cords, your outlets, your adapters, everything. Keep it in one spot. So all you have to do is just grab the bag out. Please, please. Um, a couple of things that are in this cord bag, of course, two chargers, one for my work device, one for my cell phone. Um, what else? Oh, so I have adapters for my headsets. If you're an iPhone user, you know they are changing stuff every single day. And a lot of these planes have the old headphone um, jack. So be prepared. I would either bring older headphones with a normal, I say normal jack, cause you know, used to be a Samsung girl. Bring those kind of headphones because there's only a select few airlines that have the Bluetooth connection. A lot of them are working towards that, but for the meantime, in between time, baby, you gonna need some regular headphones. Period. Um, don't rely on 
on airlines to always have them in stock because a lot of the hairlines, hairlines, <laughs> a lot of the airlines now, um, they are giving away for free, but you just never know. And catering, you know, people are understaffed. Anyway, I will always have a backup uh, charging cord somewhere in your bag that's not here, just in case anything happens to this bag. You just never know. Okay, okay. AirPods and the plane. You don't know how many times we've been held up during the planning because the plane ate someone's AirPods. Bring the cord to them. Like, you know the little thing that goes behind your neck to keep them intact. Buy that, bring regular headphones, something. Because you're coming into my layover time. <laughs> You've been warned. You've been warned, okay? Just bring normal headphones or the ones that go over your ear for the plane. Next up, I'm not trying to be shady. I'm not trying. <laughs> I'm not trying to be shady. Listen, you fall asleep on that plane, your mouth is closed, your mouth is open, your breath is gonna stink, okay? It's gonna stink. Bring some Altoids. I'm not gonna expand on that. I'm just gonna say bring them, please, please. All right, next up, ibuprofen or any kind of pain medication that is um, either over the counter or prescribed by a doctor. And keep it in your bag that you have with you. Do not leave your medicine in the check bag. Please. I would say bring this because as far as like, I'm doing all this as far as like if you're traveling on a plane, you never know when you're gonna get a really bad headache. Um, you never know like your body hurt, whatever. Just, it's always a good idea to bring that. Um, and piggybacking off of the ibuprofen, Benadryl and emergency are always really good items to have with you. I didn't start getting allergies until like a couple years ago and the sinus pressure, the bane of my existence, okay? I am always in the air and it just sucks when you get um, sinus, is sinus issues like in the middle of your trip or on in the middle of a flight. Like it's just so, Benadryl is always good. Vitamin C is always good because you're in a confined area with recycled air. Even though there's filters, great, that's lovely, but it's always good to just boost your immune system, to be quite honest. I have a bag of tea. I have decaf coffee in here. I have instant regular coffee. You can bring this stuff, guys. Like, you don't like the coffee on the plane and you like an instant coffee, just bring it. Keep it in one bag, just whatever. Next up, since we're going into like the food and stuff like that, bring some snacks that you like okay because let me tell you something we can't give you what we don't have i don't think a lot of people realize that oh you don't have pretzels no why not what do you mean why not because we just don't we don't and now you mad at me because you wanted pretzels you can bring snacks the liquids not so much you can buy them in the airport. It's gonna cost you $62 for a Coke, but who wants the Coke? Bring some snacks that you like, okay? Especially when we get delayed, especially when we're stuck out on the tarmac, especially if you have children, bring the snacks that they like, please. Please do not rely on airlines to feed your kids. I'm not gonna get into that. I'm not. I don't know when this became a flight attendant pet peeve thing, but we're just gonna roll with it. Next up, a COVID test. I have plenty of these. I got them from the government, got them from my job. No masks are optional now, but you never know. You never know. Always travel with a COVID test. Times are crazy, dude. Cannot believe I'm saying travel with a COVID test, but here we are. A pin, especially if you're traveling out of the country, Honestly, even if you're traveling domestic, doesn't matter. Bring a pin internationally to fill out your forms. Um, a lot of times this is one simple thing that a lot of people actually need. It's something that you don't think about and when you need it, you really need it. So always bring a pin. Next. One of my favorite items. 
black light if you know if you watch them blocks you know this my bestie this is a personal item that i have to have i'm sorry i'm checking them sheets boo i'm checking them sheets and i'm i'm checking them towels period punto okay because that's just my thing every aviation professional has their thing this is my thing i'm not the girl to bring the sheets with me i'm sorry i don't have enough space i like to shop it's just not happening but what i will do is check the sheets okay so i got this from walmart it was nine dollars best nine dollars ever spent in my life um you already know what it's for if you know about room raiders <laughs> then you know it holds three uh, AAA batteries, which is not really my thing. I really wish it did um, charge with a USB like my fan, but yeah. And I always keep extra batteries because when this thing dies, like it's gone. And can I always rely on the hotel remotes for batteries? <laughs> mask, I cannot find my mask holder, but it's just a little pouch that I got from our hotel in Las Vegas. Um, they give you a mask and hand sanitizer and stuff like that. So honestly, I just kept the pouch and I put all my extra masks in there. Um, states have varying mandates right now. So it is just very smart for you to keep uh, a good amount of mask in a bag protected. Like, I don't know why you would not have them wrapped up in something, but that's neither here nor there. You just never know. And when people get to coughing on them planes, let me tell you, it sounds disgusting. So always keep masks on you, whether you like them or not, doesn't matter, honestly. Next is wipes. Now, what I will say is, please do not flush these down the lavatory toilet. Please don't do that. It clogs up the, um, the piping in the, in the plane and it's just, it's gonna cause a delay eventually especially if it's so clogged that it can't keep it out also diapers do not go in the toilet do they go in your toilet at home okay that's just a flight attendant jumping out i'm sorry but please please like you will ruin you will literally ruin the pipes on the plane so if you can please just wipe what you need to wipe wrap it up in paper towel and throw it in the trash wrap it up in paper patrol and throw it in the trash, please. Wipes are good for your hands, for your face, um, anything. If you need to, you know, I have the Huggies one, but if you need Lysol wipes and stuff like that to wipe down your seat, go for it, okay? Go for it. But please just do not flush them down the toilet. Thank you. Next stuff is a satchel of Unstoppables. Um, this is always good to keep right now. This is the one I have on my, in my bathroom. Um, on the door, but I also keep one in my um, in my suitcase. <clears throat> they keep your clothes smelling good. They keep keep all your stuff smelling good. It's just a good thing to have. Um, I used to be real resourceful and keep them in a sandwich bag and like poke holes in the bag. But then I got this satchel. I think I got this from like some person that was giving the flight attendants um, samples of their face stuff. So I took all that stuff out and put my unstoppables in there so that's always good to keep in your suitcase this is more so because i'm a flight attendant i don't know how many times i'm gonna say that but i keep this kind of bag just like a small tote um for oh i guess i'll show you this i got it in barceloni um i keep this just in case i need to go and grab something from the store you know just a quick bag i'm not really a purse girl unless i have a planned outfit and i have a purse to match but other than that um, I'm pretty much just going to be taking one of these around, especially if I want to bring my iPad or a book or anything and I just want to go walking around. This is always good to have in your blizzy. I think that's it. Let me check. Let me check. Mm. Oh, one thing that I did not put on here, but you really need to have, especially for long flights, an eye mask. Right now, my company only gives amenity kits on like long haul flights or international flights. So, eye mask and earplugs are honestly totally up to you. We don't always have those items. If you really need to get some shut eye, 
bring your own eye mask, babe. Bring your own earplugs, babe, because the babies are gonna cry. The people are gonna talk loud. It's public transportation, and I think that's what a lot of people don't realize is they're like, can you tell them to be quiet, or can you do this, or can you tell them to lower the window shade? No. I can ask them, and if they say no, they say no. Honestly, you are the adult, so you should be asking them. People have the right to say no. They pay for a seat just like you did, so why not be proactive, okay? And just bring your own stuff, because you never know. That is my travel must-haves. Um, if you have, like I said, any other suggestions or any questions for me, please leave them in the comment box. Is it a comment box? Girl, I don't know. <laughs> but please leave a comment, like the video if you truly liked it. Um, please watch my vlogs. If you're not a vlogger, just click on it, let it play in the background, girl. Just let it play. Get me the plays, girl. Get me. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.